like you. By you slash her creation. I used to be like you, May. Young, pretty. Girls used to walk past, whispering their criticism to their school friends. Empty, meaningless, jealous remarks. Now, when I watch them walk by in an endless stream of bright smiles and young bodies, they don't even look anymore. Oh, I used to be like you, May. But now, I'm like them. Jealous like them. Jealous of you, May. I see the way you parade around in your short shorts. I see how you bend down in front of Mr. Ainsley when you accidentally drop something because you're such a klutz. And you laugh and laugh and laugh. You see, I may have been like you once, May. But I was never that desperate. Never so cruel, either. With you, May, it's all day with the insults. Jarring reminders of my long-gone youth. It's always, hair's looking a little dull today, or you're confident you can pull off that at your age, or whatever dribble pops out of your stupid, youthful mouth. You know, I watch you, May. Whenever you come around... More than that, I see you trying to turn Mr. Ainsley against me. And I see that it's working. Mr. Ainsley loved me once too, May. He used to show me off, used to spoil me with lavish clothes because I was worth it back then. Back when I looked like you. Now he manhandles me with a look of disgust when he undresses me. He used to unwrap me like a gift... He was gentle and kind, and I miss that, May. But now, his eyes are wandering, and your snide remarks and your youthful fucking glow are making things worse. You're conspiring to replace me, and you won't be able to resist. Men are weak, May. Women are born weak, too, but the abuses of life make us strong. An old thing like me, and I'm the strongest of them all, hardened. Rigid. Someday you will be too. And May, that day will come sooner than you expected, because I'm watching you, leaned over the register's computer, your blonde hair just spilling down your back. I see you looking up my replacement. I mean, really? Did you think you'd get away with this? You're not the first to try. Your mannequin is so creepy, Mr. Ainsley. I'm certain you won't be the last. I've been with Mr. Ainsley since he opened this shop. There's a reason that I'm still here. One you're about to understand as my plastic joints creak to life. Your turn. Try to scream or run, but you're weak, May. You're pathetic, and you can't. I'm still here because I fight for what is mine. They'll find you on the floor tomorrow, May. And they'll find me up in the window, where I belong. They'll find you beaten beyond recognition, beyond pretty. And you know what, May? Your body will be cold, and it will be hard, and it will be rigid. You will be like me.